I think I speak for many when I say we just didn't know too much about our beloved clones prior to the animated TV show Star Wars The Clone Wars. Throughout its expanse of six seasons, it gave us a good glimpse into what life was like for the average clone, and showed us many previously unknown clone commanders and units within the Republic Army. In saying this, one of these unknown commanders was of course Commander Doom, and like all of my other unknown clone commander videos, we're going to follow the same general format where we build a story and speculate on the limited information provided to us about these clones. So without further ado, let's see if we can learn a little bit more about the formidable Commander Doom. Like every other clone within the Republic army, Doom was born and raised on the stormy planet of Kamino. Similarly to clones such as Rex and Cody, Doom was probably recognized at an early age to have above average leadership and combat skills, likely leading him to be picked for Alpha 17's experimental training program. Because the aim of the program was to encourage clones to develop and cultivate a unique personality that would hopefully aid them in battle, Doom like the 100 or so other clones he was with would have developed his own distinct personality that in my opinion unlocked his full potential. The reason I say this is because after this training program, he was assigned to a unit that although doesn't have an official name we can refer to, was informally called Doom's Unit. In spite of the fact that we only see Doom's Unit once in the entire Clone Wars, what we do see of them brings me to believe that they're one of the strongest and tightest units of the Clone Wars. This is of course thanks to the work of Commander Doom, and as seen in the episode, he was quite obviously an extremely intelligent clone and strategist, and through the never before seen Clone Wars right shield tactics employed by Doom, his unit and the 501st were able to storm through the complex against one of the greatest Separatist Admirals of all time. Although this evidence is merely circumstantial, I still like to believe that Doom did in fact have an abundance of potential ready to be shown to us in the later seasons of the Clone Wars. I mean, just by looking at that one episode, it was made pretty clear that he knew what he was doing and with his unit was a great asset to the 501st. I should also note that he was commanded by twin sisters Tipley and Tipla who technically weren't allowed to be working together due to the part of the Jedi Code that forbade relationships, especially whilst in battle. Nonetheless, Doom's unit and the 501st were making amazing ground up until Tup's inhibitor chip malfunctioned, forcing him to kill Jedi General Tipla in the midst of battle. With all this said, in my opinion, Doom is a hard one when it comes out to figuring out whether or not he would have executed Order 66. In my opinion, Doom was much like Commander Wolf when it came to personality. Although not hesitating to follow orders down to the last letter, Doom also seemed like the quiet intellectual type, and in my opinion, did have the potential to defect from the Empire if he deemed it corrupt. So now that you've heard my opinion on the matter, I want to hear yours too. In your opinion, what type of commander was Doom? Do you agree with my analysis, or do you think I'm just a pleb? Let me know below. Just before I go, if you'd like to support the channel and don't think I'm a pleb, please go check out our sponsors over at T-Blocks. T-Blocks offers a range of customizable and licensed shirts, including a ton of Star Wars ones delivered monthly to your doorstep at the low price of $8.99 per month. Thing is, I can make that price even lower for all my fans, and if you're keen on awesome t-shirts from a plethora of universes, TV shows, and anime, use the code GEATSLEYSTBX to get 10% off your first month of T-Blocks. And if for whatever reason you don't like the shirt you get, you can always exchange it absolutely free. As with everything, the link for T-Blocks will be in the description below, along with the Discord and Instagram. Do consider supporting the channel through T-Blocks, as well as asking me a question on my Discord for my upcoming 100k Q&A. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.